big thing is that it, it changes the uh, shape of the airfoil. And uh, what, that hap what that does is uh, changes the lift characteristics of the airplane. So uh, you lose lift. Um, you pick up drag on the unprotected surfaces like uh, oh, the, at the juncture of the wing and fuselage and other places that stick up antennas, um, wing tips. Even if you're in an airplane that has uh, ice protection, so you've got the drag, so you're slowing down. And the danger there when it starts to slow down and lose lift is that the temptation is to raise the nose to maintain altitude. And the autopilot will do this to you too. Um, and it's, it's a kind of a trap. Okay, it'll keep trimming nose up, nose up, nose up. And you're, you're getting slower and slower all the time. You're maintaining altitude, but uh, you're getting closer to the stall, which is already elevated, which is one of the main things. The ice will increase your stall speed. And with a wing stall, uh, uh, everybody knows what happens. Uh, uh, there's buffeting, and you can get that with ice as well. And then the wing sheds lift and the nose drops, okay? Same sort of thing happens with the tail. The tail, remember, generates downward lift, okay? It, it, gen it generates negative lift. So when the tail stalls, uh, the tail goes up, okay? Because uh, the lift on the tail has been holding the tail down, balancing the upward force on the, on the wing. When you lose that tail down force, uh, the tail goes up and you've got a, a situation now where to break the stall you have to actually pull back on the oak. It's counterintuitive to what we've been taught with a wing stall. Close to the ground, that's very bad, obviously. The, the answer for a tail stall is to uh, increase power, uh, retract flaps to the last position you had them in, and maintain a safe airspeed until you get to, to the threshold and don't change the flaps after that. If you're flying along in the en route segment, uh, you're more likely to encounter a wing stall than a tail stall. Uh, you're more likely to encounter a tailplane stall uh, on approach because what increases the angle of attack on the tail? Uh, well, putting down flaps will do it, okay? And that's where you get into trouble. You've already got a higher angle of attack. The tail is working harder to stay flying. It wants to stay flying, but it's got a layer of ice on it. Now you put the flaps down, and it's starting to work a little harder because it has to change its angle in order to do its job. But there will come a limit when it reaches its stall uh, angle of attack, and that's, that's when you can incur a tail stall. Frost is just another form of icing. so. Uh, uh, you've got to make sure that uh, the wing is clean when you take off. Uh, it depends on the airfoil, but uh, your stall speed can go up by 20, 30 percent, I've read, uh, depending on the wing uh, with the layer of frost.